There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. And tonight I'm so excited because I have Johnny Highland on the live stream. Typically, I do a video before I do a live stream to get the YouTube algorithm juice going. Make sure YouTube knows that my channel and those viewers and that guest all go together. Did it backwards today. It just kind of moved around and I was on here looking for a clip of Johnny and I found this, Johnny Highland in layman's terms. Uh, I don't know the name of the tune. I listened to the first five seconds. I was like, no, 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 no. We're doing a video right now and we're gonna do it backwards. So if you're watching this and you wanna see the interview with Johnny, click the link in the description. It'll be from some time in the past. I don't know, but here we go. If you don't know Johnny, Johnny is one of the baddest players in the world. I got the privilege of meeting him two times in person when I was a, a student at GIT when he did a master class. Uh, he probably won't remember meeting me, but he changed my life and I'm gonna tell him tonight when I see him. Uh, I'm going to let his playing do the talking. Hit the button. One, How clean and disgustingly nasty is this guy? You should see the different kinds of things he can do. Um, let me show you real quick what's happening in here. By the way, this is a serious trio. I don't know who the drummer and the bass player are. Forgive me. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Leaving the perfect amount of space for Johnny, but also driving like a freight train, not letting it up at all, but you're not rushing. I mean, you're pushing, you're, you are right at his back. You are the wind right here in the sail, but you're pushing and supporting like the perfect amount. And it's just this, <laughs> I know I know this type of feeling. It's where you, you, you can play anything you want and it's gonna work when you have that type of support. So serious kudos to you two. Uh, comes in in A, right? Does this super cool thing. Now this might not be exactly right. I didn't learn this ahead of time. I just, I'm watching his hands and I'm taking educated guesses. It sounds to me like you're coming in like ESOS, but that has that A in it obviously, right over the A note. So you got like a, so it's like a, a root a five and a nine over A, but then it resolves down to that D sus kind of vibe. The idea is you're getting this one to flat seven move over A. That's your basic vibe here, right? So it's kind of like a sus two sort of vibe, and then a sus four with a flat seven, because root four flat seven. But then it switches to this. Now a lot of you will recognize this from your basic blues moves, right? Right, this is like, um, it's like a, it's like a, they call these like little sixth like horn lines. But basically what this is, this is flat seven, nine, five. And when you go up here like this, you know, you can do it like, right, you get that whole thing. When you go up here, you got root major third sixth. That's why they call it a little six horn line. But the way he adds it right there, it's just, it's got that funky country thing. And then he tags it with this bullshit. Check this out. So he's getting back 
back up to that same E minor triad over A. That's what this is, by the way. But he does it by, <laughs> by hitting, you can, you know, you can call it, no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna call it by intervals. Flat seven, nine, major third. Right? Then you got, you, just have your first finger go up a half step. Four, right? Sharp four, flat five, five, right? And again, this might not be note for note, but that's the vibe I'm getting, right? Now, then it goes to the four chord, of course, D, and it does that same kind of jump. That, uh, that, uh, No, it does it like this. Sorry, I accidentally played it on C for some reason that makes no sense. Uh, you know, so. But still that same minor triad based on the fifth over your, over your root. Really, really cool and great for hybrid picking, super snappy. Let's keep going. Listen to that sound too. So filthy. And all those little licks in between. Like whatever he's doing, you know, the He's doing all that stuff. It's great. You got a little G run here. Going into E. What a great fill. Listen to the stagger on the snare. And the and the and the symbol to carry it over the bar line. I love this drum. Super splashy. Right there, right there is what I'm talking about. I can't wait to talk to Johnny about this tonight. I always, I've always felt that uh, uh, Eddie Van Halen could have been a country player, was a country player, just a different tone, right? And Johnny's like, and and and, and, and that's kind of how I have have approached my goal. The sound that I hear in my head is that is that is that Eddie Van Halen country chicken pick, picking uh, mix, you know, like if Eddie Van Halen was a hybrid picker, right? Johnny's about as close as I've ever heard or seen get to kind of what I'm hearing in my head. Um, this lick right here, look, listen, feel the prowess on the neck. How much control he has in here just don't get lost in the theory right it's it's you know your right it's it's your it's your a minor pentatonic kind of thing right but listen to this fireball of a lick Behind the nut. I 
I don't have it. I know that on his guitars, one of the things he insists on um, is having the nut either high enough or this wood piece low enough so that he can get a whole step bend on any of the strings by pushing down. Um, <laughs> I think it's like nine blinks. <laughs> This drummer is out of control. I love him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to know his name. So much spunk, so much freedom and looseness uh, in the vibe and in the playing, but man, spot on. And the bass player is right with him. I know this is a video about Johnny, but <laughs> players like this need a great band to support them. Super, when, when you have players like this, you think of Stevie Ray Vaughan, you think of like, you know, the players that that really, you're seeing virtuosity on display, right? Those types of players are suited best when they have a firm, firm support, you know, uh, level from their band, where the where the band is is not just as flashy or just as big, you know what I mean? It's, it's, there's plenty of chops on display, but man, there's also plenty of restraint and playfulness. This is awesome. This is really making my day. I'm so excited to talk to him tonight. Look at him looking at him. Look at him looking at him. When he goes to, I love when they do the open-handed, the snare and the high open high hat at the same time. You, you know, always know you're feeling it when that happens. He's looking at him. Come on, baby. come on. Ooh. Ooh. A man after my own heart. Bending down to change his pedal settings. What you gonna do, Johnny? What you gonna do? He doesn't have it preset. He's gotta, he's gotta bend down, he's gotta touch it. And by the way, he's blind. Not completely, but legally blind. What did I tell you? At the beginning of this video, I was like, you have no idea how diverse he is and the different sounds he can get. What did I tell you about the Van Halen stuff? I, d I did not see the Tom Morello pitch shifting thing coming though, at all. I'm telling you, this guy is a legend. He is an absolute, <laughs> in my mind, he's one of the best living guitar players. He's just, he just, you know, he does get the love from the people that know he is held in that highest esteem. I just want more people to know about him, and damn it, that's one of the main reasons I'm making this video. Also, gotta give props to the production company. This room and that sky out that window, whoa, buddy. Awesome, beautiful, crystal clear. And I, I love all the shots over the drummer. You, you guys know that. Okay. He's moving into E here. You got that like halftime kind of groove. Just 
We're gonna watch him jump into this again. It's just that good. <laughs> I mean, E minor pentatonic. You don't normally get to do licks like this hybrid pick, or see people do licks like this hybrid picking, opening the wah gate open like that. It's one of my favorite things to do, and he's one of the only dudes that I see who just completely leans into it and sells it. Just that... It doesn't matter which lick you choose to do in here. Everybody's got their own, you know, minor pentatonic thing that they do in here. But just that I'm doing this where so that so that so the so that the finger, the, the index finger, or sorry, the middle finger, one flat three one, and then I pick over on the next string. It's one of the things about hybrid picking. You want to skip your string sets, right? And then of course he vary, does variations on that. But then this huge Hendrix whammy bar dump, right? <laughs> it's the stuff dreams are made of. And then the finger tapping, and again, he's just, it's just super clean. It's just a root, flat three, four. He might be throwing this flat seven in there somehow, but it's just so clean and confident and powerful. Leaning into the amplifier. He's got his cowboy hat on, he's got his sunglasses on the amp, right? Always got to give it that extra grease. I just, I just love this guy. You can tell. You can tell. It's real. Yeah. Bass player for the One of the best slide offs I've ever heard. Dude, dude, biggest smile in the game, probably, right? One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. He was so nice and so kind when I got to meet him. Um, when I was in California, but listen to this, listen to this off the end here. That's a stone cold killer. Johnny Highland, you are the man. Um, can't wait to talk to you tonight. For all you guys out there, I, I'll, I don't know the name of this tune. I'll put the link to this also in the description. But your key takeaways here, besides just watching Johnny on display, for me, um, it's just really cool rhythm parts, honestly. This. And then this. A, a lot of people struggle, myself included, with... Uh, finding cool chromatic parts, right? You're like, how do you use chromaticism? You know, how do you use notes that aren't in a key, right? This is a cool rhythm example of that. We do so many passing tones and leads, you know that, right? <laughs> but this is a cool rhythm example. You're keeping this. That's a wild shape, by the way, okay? So just take a G major, drop your first finger back, you can get this 
it's caught by intervals, right? In, in A, flat seven, nine, major third. And just walk your major third up to the five. It's kind of like an inverted turnaround. You know, turnarounds always go to the five. You either go um, down from the flat seven or up from the major third, right? And then do it on the D. So cool, so cool. Uh, I'm gonna be picking that apart forever. Anyhow, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. If you like the vibe of this channel, you can tell it's different. We do live music here. We review live music performances, um, try to give you the basic broad strokes of what's happening, uh, and we try to get into the player's mind. We don't do the tabs. We don't do note for note. We don't uh, get stuck in the, this is how you do this thing. It's really an attempt to try to put ourselves in the player's head at that moment and try to take educated guesses with basic music theory on what they may or may not be thinking to try to help you get some of the sounds in your head out by making that connection. That's it. So if that's your thing, if you dig it, if you like the vibe, please hit subscribe. Please share with your friends. Please like. And if you'd like to take the extra step which supports the channel, uh, take my lessons and my courses. Join the Guitar Gate. It's a community of thousands of people just trying to pick up the guitar every day and trying to get a little bit better. It's step by step. It goes through what I call a practical application of music theory on the fretboard applicable to any genre. Um, it's my life's work and I'd love to be one of your online teachers. That's it. Have a great day. Listen to Johnny Highland. Give him a follow. He's the man. Johnny, see you tonight. Cheers.